everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your kettlebell iso sculpt workout. This is day 21 of your sculpt challenge. In today's workout, we are gonna work the entire body for strength and cardio. We will get some sculpt with some regular moves as well as some isometric holds. We're gonna do it all using just a kettlebell. If you have a few options of weights, keep them close by. Otherwise, just use what you've got. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options, so listen to your body. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start with a quick warm up. You can march and roll through those shoulders, anything to get the blood flowing, and let's raise that core temperature. We got a short warm up so we can have a short workout. If you need more, please get it on your own. I have an extended warm up an extended cool down linked below in the description. Let's just take it out to the side, big stretch through, reach it up, other side, stretch through, reach it up. You can take both arms here and up. Keep that moving, opening it up again. Sit as deep as is comfortable for you. Just wanna open up the hips and hip flexors, movement through the arms. Let's hold it here, just go side to side. You can reach down and up. Get that stretch right through here. Let's take that back, flat down, and round it up. Take it here, and up. One more. Hold those hands down, either here or here. Walk your feet in, and just get a little pedal right through here. If it's good for you, I want you to inch, worm it out to here. Feel that core kick in and walk it back. If that's not right for you, you can just do a little hinge right here and bring it up without going all the way up. But if you can, let's take it out and walk it back. Let's get one more. Let's hold that plank or drop down to your knees, whatever is good for you. And if you want, big step right through here. Take it up. You can also drop that knee down. Big stretch, reach under and up. And switch those legs. Again, you can be in that plank, or you can drop that knee, or just stay down, whatever is good for you. Big stretch. Step it in right here, and round it up. All right, tap and reach across. Here's what we got, team. So, iso sculpt using your kettlebell. Here's what we got, three moves, three rounds, but three moves, you got it lower, upper, and core. And each of those, you really only go through once, but you keep adding on. So 30 seconds of an isometric hold. Interesting that we're starting with that, right? Usually we do the opposite, where we'll start back to basics with reps and then do some holds and pulses. But you'll have a hold. You'll have a mid-range where we add some intensity. Sometimes that is a pulse. Sometimes that is something else. Then you will have a 30 seconds, which will look more like your full range of motion. So again, kind of backwards than what we normally do, but you got 30, 30, and 30. Some sides will have right side, left side, where we'll take it to 20s, 20 seconds each. Some will go the full 30. So go ahead and grab a kettlebell, heavy to medium. We're gonna start with a low lunge. So here's what I want if you can do it. Really nice and wide and your hold is gonna be here. So you get the stretch here, slight bend, but not your regular lunge here, right? Slight bend, we're holding, then when we add some movement, we're gonna do a little hamstring curl in the back, and then a forward lunge. So 30 seconds, go ahead, grab that kettlebell, zip up that core, hold it low, weight is right here, here we go. So you got 30, yes, lots of things to think about. I want you to not be afraid to lean forward into that leg. It's okay, don't worry about that knee unless it's giving you pain. We're really wide through here. That weight's gonna pull you, so really use the core here. That kettlebell can be here or here. If at any point you need to set it down, you can do that too. When we come up, we're gonna push off the front, hamstring curl to the back. Watch me right here, and then join me for 30. Here we go. Up, down, squeeze. Kettlebell is still right here. If you need to, you can take it here. This will get you a little lower. This will add the weight to it, yes. Right? I know, I already feel like a fun workout. Stay low with it. You need to adjust that lunge to where it's better for you, that's okay. 10 seconds here, and then we're stepping back, 
and stepping forward into a lunge. Breathe, ah, right? That kettlebell throws your bounce. Here we go. Step it back, same leg. Forward, low, push back. Take it low, lean into it, push it back, right? It's different, especially with the weight on one side. Take it low. If you need to not go as far, just step into it, lean forward. That's okay too. Here to here. If you can, big push. Yes, Woo. three, two, one. Shake it out, give your hands a little break. Ah. Little mobility right through here. You can even go with those hamstring curls. And you do the same thing on the other side. Yes, good work team. So, a lot of research on taking our lunges a little more forward, on mixing up our stances. That's why we used to just do a lot of regular lunges. Now we do wide, close, forward, all of that. Really good for strengthening our knees, our hips, our ankles. Grab it with that other side. Let's get low. Here we go, hold it here. So again, I wanna show you from the front. Train tracks or hip distance apart, so you're not here for balance. This weight is here, it's gonna to wanna to pull you that way. So use that core. Allow yourself to lean forward a little bit and really use that front leg to take the weight. You're into that heel, right? Think about the heels, we have a tendency to wanna to go on those toes. Really try to get evenly through that foot, but focus on the heel. Let's bring it up right here, hamstring curl. Right, so you're keeping this here, you're not going here. Keeping that chest open. Right here, you're still nice and long. Here. Yes. You can take it as slow as you need to. Again, if you wanna have that kettlebell low, you can go here. It's gonna force you to get a little lower, which you know I love. But also, if you're up, you got that weight. I'm gonna angle so you can see me even more. Up. Breathe. Yes, you can. Here we go, step it back. Step it forward, hand up, yes. Forward, and up. Zip it up. Breathe. Really lean into it, step long. Low forward lunge. Breathe. 10 seconds, drive out of that heel. You can feel just how different it is with one kettlebell versus two dumbbells, right? Counterbalance, yes, ha! Shake it out, hamstring curls. So after each round of 30, 30, 30, we got a 30 second breather. I'm gonna give you some mobility, but that's also a time that you can grab some water. All right, lots of high heart rate in that first round. We're taking it to a row. And this is one where we're gonna do 20 second air rolls. So we have our hold, we're gonna have some pulses, we're gonna have full range of motion. Join me here, stagger your feet, hinge it. Hold it here, 20 seconds. So, on this hold, core engage. Slight bend in the knees, I know they're tired because we just worked them. Pull that elbow up, open up the chest, pack both of those shoulders, right? Five seconds, and then we're gonna do some pulses up to the ceiling. Here we go, pulse up, pulse up. Right through here again, you can take this arm out. Sometimes that really helps. Yes, 10 seconds. Pull the shoulder blades in, pull that elbow up and back. And then when we row, we're gonna do opposite arm. Watch me here, you're going down. And up, join me right here, last 20. Breathe, up, shoot that arm out. That's gonna give you that mobility, right? But we're not moving, we're not twisting in our torso. We're keeping the core engaged. Shoulders and hips square. Five, four, three, two, one, ha, shake it out, right? Woo, let's get it on the other side. Remember, we're gonna hold first, we're gonna do some pulses, then we're gonna go all the way through. Woo, that still got my heart rate up, I don't know about you. All right, team, core engage, let's get it done. Hold, right here, again, pull that elbow up, open up the shoulder, think about tightening these muscles along the spine, nice and tight, core zipped, Yes, you can, bring it up. Right now, right here. We're gonna pulse. Don't let it drop, keep it up. Here we go, pulses. Think about bringing the elbow up, but also in towards the midline of your body. If it helps, you can go here with both, right? Stay low, chest is open. We're not rounding the back, but
but we're not bringing it up. We're letting it drop, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. You got 20 seconds. Pull it up in the row. Breathe, yes. Power. There we go, yes. So close. Then we're gonna shake it out. You got it. Three, two, one. Set it down. Ha! Ah, here's your mobility right through that, right? We got both sides. We are taking it down to the mat. Again, we got right side, left side. This first circuit, lower, upper, and core is all right side, left side, so it's a little bit longer. Then we speed it up in circuit two. Down onto your side, team. Here's what we got. You're on your elbow. You're coming up into a side plank. Meet me down here, but you don't have to start yet. You can be knees or toes. Then round two, we're gonna rotate it. Second, 20 seconds. Then round three, we're here. When we get to the other side, we'll drop the hips. I'm gonna cue you through it. Join me here, here we go, 20 seconds. Hold at the top. So here's your side plank. If you need to drop that knee down, that's okay, but keep that chest open. Try not to lean forward. Core is zipped through here. Everything is pulled up and in. You don't have to have this arm up, but again, keep the chest open. Not here. We're here, right? Here we go. Now we're gonna turn it in and rotate it up. Turn it in. So try, if you can, to turn your shoulders and your hips to that front plank, just like this. If you need to, stay on those knees. That's always an option. And if you need to stay on your knees as we go forward, I want you to take it there too. Breathe. Right here, here we go. Knees drop and up, drop and up. If you're modifying, I just want you to tap back and tap back right through here. But if you can, drop them and up, drop and up. Yes, three, two, one, stretch. That's all. Same thing other side. We got our hold, we got our reach under, and then instead of dropping in the knees, we're gonna drop the hips so we get a little bit of those obliques, right? Let's start with that ISO hold. We're holding it up in that side plank. Three, two, one. Here we go, you're up here. 20 seconds, woo, sweating. Yes, team. Ha, ah, stay lifted. Remember, drive up through that shoulder, drive up through that hip. You don't have to be all the way here, but just keep everything open. Remember, we're gonna turn it, so think of it like that little, I call it a genie plank. Here we go. Turn it in, rotate it out. Strong core with both. Again, if you're on your knee, that's okay. Turn it in with the knee. Keep it up, protect that core in whatever way is good for you. We got five, four, three, two. Hold it here, drop the hips. If you need to move those hands out, you can. Right through here, if that feels better than the opposite way. Drop the hips, yes. 10 seconds, I know team, I'm feeling it too. Breathe for three, two, one, and relax. Ah, so much sweat, right? Quick sip of water, I actually remembered my towel this time. Shake it out team, you got about 30 seconds to breathe. And we are back at the top, whoo, with our lower body, and this time, whoo, we're gonna take it with an iso goblet squat home. Mm. But before we do that, it's a kettlebell workout. How about we take it to a swing? All right, team, grab a heavy kettlebell if you got it. Otherwise, heavy dumbbell or two lighter dumbbells, whatever you got. I want everybody to join me in the center. Zip up that core. You're gonna hinge it here. You're gonna bring it up. Everybody start with the deadlift. Just do a few of those hinge motions so you get a feel for it. Then when we add it to our swing, we're gonna swing it back, power it up, lock it out at the top, lock here, lock here, lock here, and then let it drop. Power it up, lock, let it drop. It's a reactive exercise. Lots of power, then stop it at the top. But it starts with that hinge motion. To modify, you just keep that deadlift the whole time. Here we go, 30 seconds, three, two, hup. So on this, you notice I'm keeping it about halfway up, just about chest level or below, maybe even up to eyes, but not much higher. We're not going over the head. We're locking it out, let it drop. You're not using your arms at all. You can squeeze in those back muscles as if you're pulling those shoulder blades together, but it's powered 
by your lower body. Arms are not lifting. And again, it's a hinge. Drop the chest. Up. Three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal those feet. Catch your breath. Now we're into circuit two. All right, here's what we got, team. I'm gonna show you without the kettlebell first. You can shake it out. We're gonna hold that kettlebell here. Iso squat hold. Then we're gonna keep it low. You're gonna go side lunge squat, side lunge squat. Then we take it high here to here. You can clean it if you want. I'm gonna give you some options once we're there. Heavy to medium kettlebell. Squat it down right here, hold it here. So we're holding that kettlebell close to our body. If that is too much, you can take your hold here. What I want is for you to get those hips low, right? So if you can, it's okay if you're here, just try not to round in the back, but try to push that mobility, right? And get a little lower. I would actually rather you drop the weight and work on that mobility, get a little lower if that's better for you. Now watch me here, we're gonna stay here. You're gonna step it out to that side lunge, back to center, here we go. You're staying low the whole time. If that feels weird on your knees, you can just step it out to a side squat. That works too. If you can, get low, push through squat, stay down. Low, push through squat. We're gonna take that kettlebell down in just a second. So feel that stretch on that inner thigh as you push into that outer thigh. Now take it up, drop your weight. We're here to here. So same motion, side to squat, except you can stay high with it. If you're feeling spicy, you can do the clean. Drop it side lunge, clean and squat, up to you. Side, squat, I know, I'm feeling it too. 10 seconds. Breathe. Three, two, one. Oh, that was a tough one, right? Catch your breath. Whoo! Shake it out. Let's step behind. Open up those hips, right? There we go. All right, while you catch your breath, watch me here. We're gonna take it down on the mat. Whew. Two things down here. So we got it here, team. Ha! Ah, stretch out those legs. I'm gonna give you a few extra seconds. Watch me here. We're gonna start with just a press and a hold. I want you, if you want, to engage your core here, away from your body. If you need to, come up in the bridge. Either one is fine. Hold. We got our little pulses. And then we're going up. If you're feeling good about it, triceps and down. With or without the core, with or without the bridge. So go ahead and join me here. Tilt that pelvis in either way. Bridge or tabletop. Hold it right here. So you're about halfway off the ground. I want you to push into that kettlebell. Feel the difference in having to just hold it versus you get a little break at the top and the bottom if you're full range of motion. You can move those knees away from your body if you want a little more core, but make sure you don't arch that back. If you're in your bridge, you may have to hold a little higher, but I want you to really think about that core. Yes, you can. Yes. We're gonna do a little press about halfway up. Here we go. Take it up. Oh, not all the way. That's what my brain wanted to do, right? Up, halfway. If you want little toe taps, you can do that too, or little pulses in the bridge, right? Keep those elbows in, you're gonna really feel those tries. You can be here with the bridge, halfway up, or toes, core. Yes, I know. If you feel comfortable with it, we're gonna add the triceps, otherwise, you know you're gonna feel your tries right here in three, two, all the way up, here we go, up, down, and in. I'm doing my bicycle, up to you again. You can do a bridge with it. You can just do the press, and in, up, whatever you got. Last 10 seconds, good grip on that kettlebell. Yes, arms. I know those legs were burning on that iso squat. Now we got those arms burning. Three, two, one. Oh man, stretch it out right here. Woo. Yes, team. All right, you're gonna stay on the ground. I'm gonna give you some options. If you need to modify your core, you're gonna do this just sitting up nice and tall. You're just gonna reach, you're gonna hold the core. 
then you're just going taps to taps right through here. You can also do the standing. Otherwise, we're gonna hold that V-sit or that boat pose if that's good for you, either here or feet off the ground. Join me. We're here, open up the chest. If you're feeling that lower back, couple of options, put those feet down. You can rest your hands here, you can rest your hands here. But make sure that you're zipping up the core, right? Remember, we're zipping up through here. Imagine you're tacking your rib cage together. You got magnets on your hip bones, bringing everything here. You can be out here. Yes. We're gonna grab our kettlebell in a minute and we're just gonna do a small side to side. Come forward, stretch your back. Here we go, twist. It's a small twist. We're gonna take it full twist after. If you need a little breather, sit up right through here. If you want a little challenge, lean it back. When we add the full twist, we're gonna tap it down to the ground and we're gonna go halfway back. Lots of core, I know we gotta stabilize. Again, if you shouldn't be doing this core, take it seated or take it standing. If you can, watch me here. Tap it down and up. Big reach. You can even add a press to the top if you want. Yes, you can. Down and up and breathe. Yes. Woo. If you want to make it spicy, take those feet up. 10 seconds. Woo. Notice feeling those biceps and those shoulders too, along with that core. Three, two, one. Stretch. Right up onto your feet, team. I told you. First circuit was really long because right side, left side. Second circuit, short, but a burner. How about another swing? Shake up that arms, shake up the core, bring that weight in the center. Let's get it done. Here we go. So, whew, zip up that core. Everybody start with your hinge. Get a few deadlifts to get a feel for that. Feel that stretch through your back. And then, if and when you're ready, 30 seconds. Join me right here in three, two, one. Bring it up, let it drop. The good news is you are so close to being done with this workout, so I want you to give it to me. Power, let it drop, power. You got power as you come up and power when you lock it out. Push into those feet, squeeze in the glutes, hamstrings, core, back. Yes, you can for three, Two, one, swing and relax. Yes, team. <sighs> All right, here's what we got. We got one last bonus round. We're gonna take it 20 seconds each. Watch me here, you got your kettlebell. You're gonna hold a plie. So we got a lower, an upper, and then we put them together. Plie, curl and press. Plie, curl and press to finish it out. 20 seconds each, Woo! Grab that medium kettlebell. We're getting it all in, 20 seconds each. Start with your plie, iso hold. Here we go, drop it down. So, shoulders back, low in those legs, right? We're just holding. That's the point of these isometric, isometric contractions is our muscles are contracting, but they're not lengthening and shortening. So there's a lot of value in that. Here we go. If you want, you can take it up, curl, and press if you want to keep those legs working. You can do a curl and press from here. It is up to you. You do you. Yes, team. We're going to put them all together in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Drop it low. Curl, press. 20 seconds. Yes, yes. Down. Yes, you can. All the way through, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Oh man, team, set those weights to the side. Whoo, tap it out. Yes, you did it. Shake it right here. Whoo, roll those shoulders. We're gonna get a quick stretch, but of course, make sure you get more of a stretch on your own. Make sure you hydrate after this workout. Whew, I am pouring sweat, you guys. Hmm. Let's take it right here. Hands on top of your legs. Round through that back cat cow, right? Working hard. 
Be sure you leave me a comment. Let me know, did you like these ISO holds? How do your muscles feel? Muscle endurance and strength. Hands down if you can, pedal those feet. If you need to keep them on your legs, you can let your head and neck relax. Whew. Breathe into that. Take those feet wide and just go side to side. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe. When you subscribe to my channel, that helps me keep making these free workouts for you. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you always know when something new is coming up. Let's stretch to the side. Whew. Make sure you're also on my email list so you can get your free workout calendars as well as the links early. You get the link, the links for the whole next week of workouts on a Sunday. So you have them before they're released to the public. So make sure you check that out. And then of course, if you're looking for more support, more accountability, more personalized guidance on your journey from me, from our Body Fit Dietitian, you wanna join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. All that information is down below as well. Whew. Again, make sure you get some good stretches on your own. Let me know what you thought. Don't forget to subscribe. I am so glad that you joined me here today. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your kettlebell iso sculpt workout. Great job, everybody.